We're here with uh, Tim Jensen of Flipper. You guys came out with a 1-0 victory, but you felt that you could have scored more goals. Yeah, definitely. There was a lot of chances for scoring at least one or two more. Um, but um, I think we, we lost our chances a little bit too easy and, and didn't follow up on them. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to do better in the next two games, uh, definitely for, for our rebounds, uh, because they were too sloppy. Um, so, but, but the good good start of the uh, this competition and the, the three points are, are nice to have on the scoreboard. This pool uh, suits you because you are a fast swimmer. Yeah, definitely. It's a it's a good pool. It's uh, it's long and it's not that wide, which which it's uh, also get a lot of speed into the game. Um, so that's a really fast pool. Yeah. You're the only person I heard say they, they like it, but uh, we know what that is. So, are, are are you doing very much swimming these days? Well, I try to uh, every day uh, when I go to practice. I try to go in the water before and swim uh, some extra uh, meters um, before the training starts, so I get the meters that I, I need for for playing one roll rowing. And uh, you become a coach also? Yeah, it's uh, it started as the first division uh, coach, and, and now I'm put I'm into the first team as well, uh, and, and, and it is enjoying it, uh, having uh, having to teach them streamline and some fast uh, kicking and stuff like that. It's 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 enjoyable. But, but I mean, you're you're a coach here with the with uh, even tactically, you're you've come a long way since we first talked uh, a few years ago. You 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 know underwater rugby much deeper. I still have a long way to go, and uh, and I'm got the good uh, mentors uh, mentors in, in the team, and they are putting some uh, tactic stuff in my head, and I'm trying to develop them. So yeah. And what's going on with Flipper in the Danish league? You're not third place. Yeah, the Danish league is is really good. Is this year it's it's a lot of competition and one a lot of games ending one zero or two two one and tough games and it's gonna be a, a, fi a great final game we have a final four game uh, here in, in May and it's gonna be fun to uh, see how the the it's gonna be ending it's uh, Marge and Tutsener yeah it's it's all who's our Aquakvik and uh, who is in, uh, I think it's in second and Tutsener is in first. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. It's always fun, uh, the final four games. It's, it's a tense, tense games. And uh, Denmark is really looking forward to Graz now, thinking about how good the team can be. Yeah, we got a really strong uh, national team. Uh, a lot of uh, players trying out. I think in the last tryout, we were 35 players. And uh, we are narrowing down for, for the final squads for the Nordic. So it, it's really fun playing other rugby in Denmark. Will you be playing in the Nordic Championship? I hope so. Uh, I mean, I'm in the brutal, I'm in the 18 team now, and they have to cut it down to 15. So there's still three places to play for in this uh, Euroleague round. Okay, so the Euroleague is helping a lot in shaping the the Danish national team right now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The team isn't. Uh, you're not sure to play next week in the Nordic. Uh, so. All right. Well, I hope to see you there. Good luck.